And now we're in the get response dashboard. You should have 30 days left on your free trial. That will try and upsell you and have you uh, upgrade. But for now, we want to just create our form. This isn't going to be a training about what all these bits do. This is just purely about creating our form. So um, we do that by clicking on the left hand side on create a form. Once we're into the designer, it will say, do you want to create this embedded in a page or in a pop up? We obviously want to put this embedded in our website. So highlight that and click next. And then you can pick pre-designed templates or blank templates. Uh, if you're a beginner, then I recommend the pre-designed templates. Scroll down and find one that you like. Uh, typically, if we're going to make an ebook uh, type of form, you will find one with an ebook in it. So if we scroll all the way down, it'll be there somewhere. And there it is. So for easiness, I'll just use this template. So click on the use template. And then this will bring us to the editor. So all we want to do within the editor is obviously swap out that image with our image, upload our ebook, and then make a few text adjustments. So if you click on the image and replace the image, you'll be able to add a file. We want to find the file on our computer. This is just the front cover image that we created. So find that cover, upload it, and then add the file and then use that image. And that will swap out their template image for our image. The next thing we want to do is create a little message or title. I just put the title of the ebook in there so people know what they're getting. And once you've completed your title, underneath that you've got a little tagline that you can put some text in. So I'll copy and paste my tagline text in there now. You can style the text, make it bold, change the font, change the font size and all that good stuff. So take your time making it look good. Now we're going to go on to our thank you message. So your title should just be a basic thank you. And then the text underneath, you want to go a little bit more in depth, probably leave a call to action. Uh, you know, thank you for downloading the ebook, follow us on social media, enjoy the book, and uh, just try and connect a little bit with uh, your prospect who's going to download your product. And then after you've written what you want to write, you want to go to the plus sign on the right hand side of the page. And this will add an element. And the one we're after is a button. And we drag that in. Then change the text on the button uh, to read something like download your free ebook. And then we want to link that button to the PDF file, which is our actual ebook. So select document in the drop down, browse your computer for the file. There's the PDF, open that, and then that will load up your file and you'll get a little green tick to show that it's all done properly. Again, you can, you know, change the roundness of the button, make it small, medium, large, adjust alignments and things like that. But um, play with that, you know, and once you're done, click the save button. And that's your form saved. Click next. Then we want to edit the name of the form just so you know what it is that you've created. So whatever your ebook is about. Then we'll scroll down and put in this box your website where you want the form eventually to be. So for me, it is Seas of Solitude. That's the website we're working on in this training. Then 
Then you'll get some embed code, which we don't need to worry about at the minute. So we just want to save out of that page. And that is as far as we want to take this form. When we come to build our website and then attach this form to our website, all we do is just copy that little bit of code we've just seen uh, into the website. That will be all done. So that's it for this training. Thanks for watching. Pretty basic stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.